In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to troubleshoot any video ninja audio issues. Mostly, I've been getting some requests and questions in the comment section. People trying to bring in guests into OBS using video ninja. And one of the common issues they have is actually has to do with audio. I think actually, yeah, it's only one thing. Most people are complaining or are saying and are complaining that the audio is kind of uh echo e like you know they they are getting some echoes right so in today's video i'm going to show you exactly step by step how to fix that audio issue so when you have your guests using video ninja you're gonna be able to have perfect audio no echo uh, and you can actually hear the guests, you know, and people watching you, they're going to be able to hear the guests and yourself as well. So this is going to be mostly like, you know, um, best practices to make sure you get everything right using Video Ninja and OBS. So uh, again, if you have never used Video Ninja to bring guests into OBS, you want to make sure you check out my video showing you step by step how to do that. I'm going to link it down below. But other than that, let's get started. So I have my uh obs open right now and then this is gonna be mainly like my main scene i'm not gonna do any overlay and stuff like that but this is assuming this was me and then we're gonna go to video ninja again because i don't have a guest that's coming from a different browser or from a different computer this is just me doing the video i may have to bring in myself using the same audio but i'm gonna show you the best practices and i also have a video that i did with um one of my viewers where i troubleshoot the whole thing for them i did the screen recording if you want to check out that video because it's gonna give you the you know the actual perspective of having me and having some other guests coming from a different place coming in from a different place or different computer or a different browser that's gonna give you the real actual picture okay However, if you follow my steps, you should be fine as well. So I'm going to go to Video Ninja, Video Ninja, okay? And then, again, if you need that video, guys, uh, I'm going to let me know down below. I will send you, uh, send me an email. I'm just going to email it to you, no problem, just to see how you can do that. Um, no problem. So um, we're going to go ahead and create a room, and then I can just call it my show. And then password, I'm going to say one, two, three, four. And then guests to say guests can again when you create your show you make sure you follow these steps as well okay so password you can create whatever password you want and your, your show you can name it whatever you want and then the guests can see the director but not at the guest the director will be performing so most of most cases you're gonna be performing as well so you want to make sure you check the director will be performing as well appearing in a group's scene and then H264 is going to be the codec that I use and most, most of you guys should be using that one. And then everything else, you have some tips here, but you can leave it the way it is and then just hit into the room control center in the director's role. So this is what it's going to look like. Now you're going to send, this is the, the link you're going to send to your guests. I'm assuming you're already doing it. And then once they join, so I'm going to paste it in here okay they're gonna see that this something that will look like this you're gonna enter they're gonna enter the password which is one two three four and then hit okay and then they're gonna join the room with the camera so uh for me i'm gonna uh, have to choose a different camera so i can go ahead and choose streamlabs desktop camera this is another camera and then for audio okay this is crucial okay so they're gonna have to choose their microphone it should show up here okay so right now i have uh, my main microphone it's uh it's connected so i can use that one no problem it's just gonna call it may cause some echoes again this is because it's just for me to be able to demo choose the audio their microphone make sure please please make sure you tell your guests this is the rule number one make sure you tell your guests to have some headphones okay they gotta wear some headphones they try to use their loudspeakers that may create echoes okay so make sure they wear some headphones and then this is what it's gonna look like on the guest side okay now back in video ninja this is what you're gonna get the image from the guest now if you have me you wearing your headphones basically as soon as you wear your headphones you should be able to hear the guest coming in okay however actually you're not gonna be able to hear them you're gonna need to turn on this speaker icon okay 
Now, now I, can I can hear myself. myself. I mean, there's an echo. It's, it's kind of weird, weird but, but I, I can, can hear myself. myself okay? okay. Basically, if it was a guest, it would be me hearing the guest. Okay. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to mute it. Now, this is where most of you guys are having issues. When this icon, this speaker icon is on, it's basically to allow you to hear someone through Video Ninja. Okay. It's, it's as if you were having a Zoom conference with someone. Okay. So, you want to make sure it's on to be able to hear the guest. Now, I'm going to show you how you can actually talk to the guest and then send your camera to the guest because that's another thing people were having issues with because they're trying to add their camera within Video Ninja. You don't have to add your camera here in Video Ninja because you're going to need your camera back in OBS. So, people, some people were adding in Video Ninja and bringing that camera back into OBS as like as as a director so you should not do that so keep it please follow my steps and should be fine okay so now we're gonna go ahead and click choose this this um link right here it says copy solo link and then we go to obs and we're gonna add it so we're gonna go to this scene where we're gonna add our guest and then hit uh, add the browser source and then we're gonna call it our guest just guest and hit okay and then uh, you want to make sure it's 1920 by 1080. And then you want to make sure you check control audio via OBS. This is important as well. So the audio coming, you're going to be able to control it via OBS. So you can mute it if you don't need it. If you need it, you can unmute it. Okay. So use control audio via OBS. Also use custom frame rate. You want to make sure you choose 30 frames per second. You don't need to use 60 frames per second. Everything else, you can leave it the way it is. We got this, the basic settings. So now, as soon as you click that, as you can see, we have a signal coming in. Let me go back to make sure. Oh, I forgot to paste. I forgot to paste the link. So you want to make sure you go to your URL here and then paste the link from that we just copied from Video Ninja and then hit OK. So now we have a signal coming in and part of the signal, we also have audio. So this is your guest audio. If you want, you can mute it or unmute it. OK, you can also go to these three dots here because right now, if I put my headphones on, I'm not able to hear that audio. OK, so. This is where you're going to go to these three dots here. Go to the guest audio and then turn on monitor and output. Now I can hear myself. Of course, there's an echo because it's just me. But if it was coming from outside, it would be the guest audio. All right. So I'm going to click OK. All right. Now I'm going to mute it for the sake of the video because I don't want the echo to be repeating in my ear. Okay. I'm going to show you something here. If I go back here, as you can see, my speaker icon is still muted. So if you were to unmute this speaker icon, because the audio is coming through computer's audio, you may get echo here, right? You may get echo. You may get double audio. And this is what most people are actually having issues with. They have this guest audio turned on, which should be turned on here in OBS, but they also have audio turned on here, the speaker icon turned on here, and that's what's creating echoes, all right? So I want to make sure you click unmute this on this one, and here, of course, you can leave it the way it is, and make sure it's on monitor and output so you can actually hear the guest. Now, another question is, how do you send your camera to the guest because at, up until this point the guest cannot see you cannot see your camera cannot hear you so this is how you do it you go back to video ninja control room here and then what you do is you go here where it says enable director's microphone or video okay this is crucial you click to that now you're going to enable your video now how do you add your video you go here you go to settings now Okay, so you want to make sure you, you, you are selected. Go to settings here. And then you're going to choose the video source you want to send. So when most people are actually failing, they want to send this, uh, their main camera from here. But when you send your main camera from here, 
it's not going to appear in OBS because most cameras can be used twice with two applications to different applications. So what you need to do, unless you had a spare camera, which most people don't, you want to make sure you send what we, we call OBS virtual camera. This is what I recommend. Now, if I go back to OBS, you want to make sure you enable that. What it's going to do is going to send a, a signal of your camera. So basically, if I go to start uh, studio mode, uh, start virtual camera, okay? And then, so basically what I have here on the screen, this is what the guest is going to see. So if I click to that, you can see, if I go back here, so it's an OBS virtual camera, and then audio source, you want to make sure you send your actual microphone, okay? Your main microphone, okay? And then that's pretty much it, all right? So if you go back to Video Ninja, what the guest is actually seeing, I think I sent the wrong one, so it's, it should be, I sent OBS, but it's OBS virtual camera. Where is OBS? There you go, OBS virtual camera. So what the guest is seeing now is an image of themselves, which is this one, and an image of um, of whatever is being played on OBS. So now if I was to switch to a different scene, let's say this was another scene, the guests, this is what they're going to see. Guess what? They're going to see that scene. So this is good for the guests because they're going to have an idea of what's happening on the stream. So they can see the whole stream as it happens back in their Video Ninja kind of user interface right so that's how it works and then for the guests really what they gotta do of course they're gonna have this speaker on and their microphone on they can have some headphones they're gonna be able to hear no problem and back in obs you're gonna be able to hear your guest and then of course if you wanna you wanna make sure you add your guest audio so let's say if i wanted to add my guest here all you gotta do is because the audio is coming in at the same time as video you can actually go ahead and copy the guest scene and then you can go ahead and paste the reference here so if i wanted to see the guest maybe on this scene here as you can see i can have the guest on this scene right now another thing is if i want to have now the guest audio on another scene they say if i had the scene here they say I go to my main camera here okay and then i will create another scene let's say main camera hit OK and then I will paste my main camera and then I go to transform and then I make fit the screen OK and then I wanted the guest audio to be heard when I switch to this scene so basically what I would do instead of because the audio is coming it's kind of attached to the guest audio uh, to the guest video what I would do I hit the plus sign and then I will add uh, a audio output capture and then that's gonna bring in what's coming through my speakers and then i'm gonna go here and i choose whatever is showing here as my speaker my main speaker this is what i choose so i go to speaker broadcaster and hit ok and now as the guest speaks i'm gonna be able to hear get the audio on this scene okay and then you can still do like all the advanced uh, properties and then you can set it to audio monitoring and set it to monitor and output. And then you can, the good thing about this, I can copy it and then paste to any scene that I want where I need the guest audio to be heard. Of course, if I don't want to bring it with the video at the same time. So that's how it's done, guys. If you have questions, that's how you set up the audio correctly for bringing in your guest in OBS. If you have questions, let me know. If you need the recording of me troubleshooting the, with the, my viewer, make sure you actually let me know down below. And other than that, if you want to see a video of me actually doing the whole video showing you how to bring in guests using Video Ninja, check it out right here. It's going to be linked right here. And I'll see you there, guys. Take care.